Your Pearl Harbor experience, that's the story that if you want to look at it uh, very surfacey, you go, okay, this woman who was brought up at the highest of the highbrow literature and theater, and then you land in a Michael Bay production. Well, the thing was, I didn't, you know, when they, when they had you audition for that, they sent you pages, and you know, I read some pages, and the pages were really great, I mean, right. really, really well written, and very moving. I kept crying every time I read it. And nobody really said, the thing is, you know, people are gonna be weird about this because people have an association with Michael Bay. They, I didn't know who Michael Bay was. I had no idea. I didn't know who Jerry Bruckheimer was. I literally, you know, I knew who, who Lermontov was. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't realize there would be such a, an opinion. I've never done a movie where there's been such an opinion about the movie before it's even been shot based on what people are expecting Michael Bay to do with it. Right. Also, I'd never been on a movie of that size. And I was also, you know, put on a fairly intense kind of physical program. <laughs> um, what do you mean? For it. Well, because I think there's a, you know, there's a, you know, a look that Michael and Jerry like, you know, which I didn't fit into at all. Like I said, I, I, you know, sh I think I had sort of shortish hair at the time and was really, really, pe had, had not yet seen any sunlight in my life. So um, I think that was a bit jarring. And so there was a lot of kind of, you know, shit, let's put some hair on her, let's put some, things in her bra and it's you know there was a lot of that going on which was again a completely new experience and um and yeah i was really in love with the script and then this new pages kept coming in <laughs> they weren't this good <laughs> by that point we were doing it well i mean uh, and by the way i've got a baby as well on top you have of a baby. Else. and so as shocking as pearl harbor probably should have been i was immensely distracted as well by right. having this baby that didn't sleep yet but i do remember being on pearl harbor and the boys all going off for boot camp and coming back going, oh my God, it was brutal. You know, they woke us up every three hours. And I was like, every three hours? Fucking lucky you, man. I'm getting woken up every 45 minutes for the entire movie. <laughs> my child just didn't sleep ever. And you know, there was definitely a really intense period of time. And I, I can see in some of the publicity photos, I can see that, oh, that's somebody who hasn't slept. I right? <laughs> also, on top of everything else, started shooting Serendipity before Pearl Harbor was over. Oh so, my God, it just happened one yeah, after the so other. Yeah, so then that was in New York and Pearl Harbor was in LA. So I was, you know, there was about a month period where I was doing both movies at the same time with the baby. Oh remember. my God. So that was definitely busy. That was, I don't think I could do that now. <laughs>